Hi, I'm Jo Bahari, and as a DIY expert, I'm here to help show you how to spruce up your home without breaking the bank. You don't need really expensive tools and equipment to improve your home. You just need a little bit of know-how, and hopefully I'll be able to show you some useful tips. In this video, I'm going to show you how to drill a hole into a wall and stick something on. That something could be anything from a coat hook like this to a flat screen TV. The same principles apply. In this case, I'm just going to show you the coat hook. What you need to know about drilling a hole in a wall is the difference between a masonry bit and a wood bit. A masonry bit is for solid walls and it has a tungsten carbide tip at the end, which means it's really powerful and strong and can get through brick. A wood bit has a pointy brad bit at the end, which is for softer materials like wood or plasterboard, which hollow walls are made out of. The other piece of the puzzle is the fixings. For a solid wall, you need a bullet thin fixing like this one. And for a hollow wall, you need a fixing that has little wings that fly out the back and grab the back of plasterboard. The final piece to the puzzle is your drill. Nowadays, you can get some really good value for money drills. You don't need to spend hundreds of pounds. This, for example, is a drill from Aldi, and it has all the same features that you would find on a more expensive drill. The first thing you need to look at is the power. You have one or two, and that just means more or less power. You have a forward or backwards motion, which is here. You only need forwards motion for drilling and reverse motion when you're using your drill as a screwdriver. The final thing is your drill setting and your hammer setting. You can just switch easily between the two and you need drill for when you're in hollow walls and hammer for when you're in a solid wall. That just means that the drill's hammering as well as going round and round. The first thing you need to do is mark on the wall where you want your hook to go. I'm going to use a pencil to do this. Once you've made your mark, it's a good idea just to put a cross in them because they're easier to spot if you walk away and go and make a cup of tea than trying to find those little dots again. Now we're going to drill a hole. I've got to check that my hammer setting is on and power's right. I'll put my hand on the back of the drill to guide it in. So once you've drilled your hole, keep the drill running as you come out. Now just put your fixing into the hole. I'm now going to remove the masonry bit and replace it with the screwdriver attachment that is handily attached to the drill and I'm going to take my drill off hammer mode and turn down the speed setting. Don't screw all of the screws down tight until they're all in place. There you go, job done. I hope you've enjoyed learning some simple DIY tips that'll help you improve your home without breaking the bank. Don't forget to check out Aldi stores for their special buys, DIY and workshop ranges available throughout the year.